Hello and welcome to development update 2 for the Pizza Time Collaborative project. During this development period we made considerable progress on the project. As you can see many more models have been added to the scene thanks to our fantastic artists and there's also now a shader that runs over the entire map thanks to one of our senior artists, James. As for the progress I made during the sprint, it was mostly taking objectives for collecting ingredients that the designers handed me and mapping them into Unreal Engine. We'll start with the simplest of these objectives, the pepperoni targets that you can see moving back and forward throughout the street. Once we destroy all four with our source blast, pepperoni will be added to the top of the pizza. So we will attempt to do that now. As you can see, we've taken out the first of them. We'll swing around and come in for a second run here. As you can see, two more, and then finally, the fourth one has been eliminated, adding pepperoni to the top of the pizza. Okay, uh, we'll move on to another one of the more simple objectives, the spinach crates that are hanging out around the back of this cafe. If we take all of the spinach crates out, spinach leaves will be added to the top of the pizza, as you can see there. Okay, now with those two out of the way, we'll move on to the two more complex objectives. First, we'll start with the ghost pepper. So as you can see, there is a ghost pepper chilling out on this roof. Once we pick it up, the challenge will begin, and in a short period of time, you're expected to collect all of these additional ghost peppers that have spawned, similar to how the red coin operates in Mario. I'll purposely fail the objective this first time through, so I can showcase what happens when we do. As you can see, the ghost pepper despawned, the final one that was left, and the original ghost pepper respawned. Once we pick this up, the challenge will reset, and we can have an attempt at success here. Once we do succeed in collecting all the ghost peppers, they will be added to the top of the pizza. Okay, onto the fourth and final objective. This big mushroom ball needs to be hit into the goal. I'll take another pass here, just so I can briefly explain what's going to happen. So as it gets close, a suction effect will take place, sucking the ball into the goal. This is to prevent some of the more unpredictable physics aspects of Unreal. So as you can see, there's the suction and goal and mushroom has been added to the top of the pizza. Before I end the video here, um, I do want to briefly showcase how I have built these tools friendly for designers when they come to construct the levels for the game. Okay, we'll start with the pepperoni targets. Very simply, you can see they have a 3D widget here that is available for them to move around. And if they do, when they play the level, they'll see that, as you can see, it's moving to the new widget location. So that's the simplest of the tools that I have added. The ghost pepper functions in a similar way here, uh, but it's slightly more complex and it has an array of pepper points. So you can see all of the widgets on the scene are where the pepper spawned when we collected the first one to start the challenge. If we wanted to add another pepper to make this challenge more difficult, we simply add an array element and then we can move the widget around the scene to dictate where we want that pepper to spawn. And obviously we can delete an array element. Ooh. Not like that, <laughs> like that, if we are not happy with it. And the timer of the challenge can also be adjusted here. Going forward, all of the objectives will be built in this way so that level designers have an easy time when they come to construct the game. Uh, that is all to showcase for this development period. Thanks for watching.